Hello, everyone. My name is Omar. I'm from the Third Rail. I have a podcast on YouTube. I want to first say thank you to every uh, single person that has taken the Palestinian cause and gave voice to the voiceless, those who have been muted, those who had been uh, beaten and put in jail and have been dying in silence. And what I noticed the most beautiful thing is when I look at those students in those universities and those colleges is most of them are women. Most of the Palestinian uh, students who are leading the fight for the liberation of the Palestinian human being are women. And I appreciate every single one of them. We are doing the right thing. Keep up the fight. Keep up the pressure. This is the new generation. What you have against you is unbelievable. It is the three evils in our society. It is corporate America, uh, the political elites who are corrupt as fuck, and corporate media. They will gain up on you and they will criticize you, demonize you, and turn you into a terrorist anti-Semite. You saw what they did in New York. You saw what the Washington Post just wrote. There is a what? There's a WhatsApp group of the richest billionaires who put a pressure on the mayor of New York to send a thousand pol uh, police officers into Columbia universities. And they came up with this hocus pocus bullshit of they found these books on terrorism. They found these chains. Imagine the mayor of the city of New York under pressure from the uh, wealthy, the elites, the economic elites, the wealthy, the billionaires to go after these students and portray them as somehow the, all these students one day and got up and said, well, we're going to be anti-Semite today. We're going to hate all the Jews. All of a sudden, they haven't had any problems for the last, what, two, three years while they're in school. It shows you how the media, uh, uh, those in the media, corporate media, will work for the corrupt political elites and the, uh, uh, the economic elites and demonize a segment of our society that they don't agree with. All of a sudden, these kids were all of a sudden anti semites they were attacking Jewish students, they would, and the protesters, there's a majority of them who are Jewish Americans, American Jews with conscience, who are protesting, even outside the universities. There are, um, there are organizations like Not Now, which I contribute to, uh, Jewish Voice for Peace, who got arrested in Brooklyn, New York, who blocked the, uh, the um, what do you call that? They blocked the whole street and maybe a hundred of them got arrested. It's a new day. It's a new day. It's a new dawn. It's not going to work no more. Don't you notice every time the Zionists go on TV, every time they lie, it doesn't work no more. Because originally somebody will come in, they usually pick somebody who speaks fluent English, if he's a, uh, if they speak into an American uh, audience, they will bring in an American. If they speak into a, a British audience, they will bring an English speaking person just to, uh, uh, to uh, portray that. See, we speak the same language. We are the same. And they get up and they say all this hocus pocus bullshit. Hezbollah, Hamas, Hassas, Hassas. They throw all these words and they scare the American public. It doesn't work no more. They, they lie. It's, it is so embarrassing how they lie. It's like, what are you guys doing? If, if you shut up, maybe it will help your cause more better. You look at Twitter, how they demonize Muslims, and they tell Europe, this is what's going to happen to Europe. Imagine if I got up on Twitter and told this, look at those Jews in Europe, what they're going to do to you. That would be anti-Semitic anti and will be inciting violence against Jews, right? But they use it against Muslim. These are people who doesn't who don't care about Jews, who don't care about Judaism, because Judaism is not Zionism, and Zionism it has nothing to do with the Jewish people that we know all over the world. These are a small segment of extremists who came out of Eastern Europe or religious Masonics who are trying to relive the days of Moses and things of that nature. I appreciate you. I love you to all the men and women and, and, and young people who came out. You made us all proud. Really, we are proud of you. We are really, really proud of you.
and we all love you and keep up the fight. Non-violence, no threats, just protest. We want the university, what? To divest. Thank you, and I love you all.